This is the biggest flood, the worst disaster in county history. We have debris everywhere. There are health challenges. A lot of people are displaced from their homes. A lot of people are isolated. It's just been an incredible impact on infrastructure. Roads, bridges. We haven't seen anything like this, I don't think, ever. What we have is an unprecedented disaster, the worst of its kind we've ever seen here in Larimer County. In Larimer County, 1,120 square miles was affected by flooding. Hundreds of homes and businesses were destroyed and hundreds more have been damaged. Extensive road damage in Big Thompson Canyon completely cut off road access to the communities of Drake, Glenhaven, and Cedar Park. Three dams also failed in the county. Both US-36 and US-34, the major routes into the tourist town of Estes Park, were severely damaged. Hundreds of Estes Park residents were also isolated by the destruction of sections of Fish Creek Road. All nine crossings were damaged or destroyed. Larimer County is looking at 50 to 100 million dollars worth of road work on our county roads. Projects like that take months, if not years, to complete. From Larimer County's standpoint, we are the maintainers of the roadway infrastructure. So when we say infrastructure damage in Larimer County, it's the roads, it's the bridges. There are roads that just simply do not exist anymore that have to be replaced, not just repaired, replaced. Some of those roads are very challenging. There are bridges that have to be replaced. We know this is a process that's going to take us quite some time, but as we get to these problems, we want to make sure we handle them all and we do it in a way that is, is wise and responsible. We're committed to making sure our citizens can get in and out, that we get life restored back to normal as fast as humanly possible. We were looking at Glenhaven, and the only word I can use to describe Glenhaven was sobering. I've never seen anything like that in my life, and walking around and seeing the buildings and just the sheer raw destruction up there, and it just underscores in my mind the need to do everything we can to help get our communities restored and rebuilt and to reassure people that we are here for the long haul. We're here in Glen Haven. Uh, what you see behind me is uh, what's left of uh, County Road 43. You can see the extensive damage. It's a countywide challenge. We have destruction like this all over Larimer County. To be everywhere at all these places at the same time, we're going to have to set priorities and get to these places as we can with the staff that we have. The magnitude of the construction that's going to be necessary is probably what we would do normally over a decade or more that we're going to have to do in one or two construction seasons. We incurred about $80 million of damages to roads and bridges throughout Larimer County. That's equivalent to our entire general fund budget for a year. A lot of people can't get back to their homes and that even makes us redouble and reinforce our efforts to get to get roads open again so that people can get back to their homes and get their lives back in order. So what we're doing is to construct temporary primitive accesses that will get people back home. We're trying to get things back to normal. I know it's hard to be away from home, but if you get back too quick and you don't have you don't have safe water, you don't have electricity, um, you just need to be really, really careful. Our community health folks also helped out with um, some of the vaccination efforts. After a, a flood, there's a risk for some of those folks that are cleaning up in floodwaters. They could get an infection, and specifically tetanus is a concern. We had to get the health department in here to inspect the restaurants, get them back open. They had a team up here, got through, inspected the restaurants, uh, found what was lacking, started working on those, get them open as quickly as possible. Our challenges here are many because we have a lot of infrastructure damage, we have a lot of displaced people, we have debris everywhere, there are health challenges. So this is a lot of challenge that stretches our resources from stem to stern in the county. And so we are putting together all the players in one room once a week and on paper daily to coordinate efforts. During the recovery process, one of the big things is you've got all the issues with the insurance and all that. And so we had the Board of County Commissioners adopt a new 
process that we adopted into our land use code that automatically triggers a number of administrative activities. Some streamlined processing activities also occur with the permits that are being submitted. If you qualify, you could receive uh, up to $1,000 off of your building permits, and so we'll be able to expedite all these different processes. And that saves literally months in some cases. In the weeks since this flood, you've seen people really rally together. Um, uh, work together and, and try to rebuild the community. We anticipate at least a couple of years of significant road work and delays, so that certainly will be a new normal and people's routines will have to be adjusted around that. We're all going to have to practice our patience skills. It will get done. It will definitely get done. We understand the problems that people are going through and we're going to do our best to, to do what we can to, to help our citizens. And we're in it for the long haul, and we're not going to forget anybody, any community in our county, and we're not going to rest until we complete the job.